Welcome back to Crypto Blessing, I am Satoshi Nakamoto and I have a duty to spread crypto awareness. In today's top stories we have China about to launch a cryptocurrency. Ha ha. I was first so shame on you. We also have massive whale movement in the market as well as people who knows what they are doing buying Bitcoin, oh yes, keep pumping my bag. Let's dive right into today's first story. Up 3%, Bitcoin leaves S&P 500 behind in year-to-date recovery. Both Bitcoin and the US stock markets have witnessed a notable recovery rally over the past couple of weeks, but it's the cryptocurrency that's taken the lead. Bitcoin BTC clocked a 3.5-week high of $7,459 early on Tuesday, meaning the cryptocurrency was up 4.2% from the yearly opening price of $7,160. Since then prices have fallen back slightly, putting the year-to-date gain at around 3.2%. Meanwhile, the U.S. stock markets are still trading in the red on a YTD basis. The S&P 500, Wall Street's equity index, has pulled off a strong 21.5% rally from lows near $2,190 reached on March 23, but even so it's still down 17.5% for the year. Gold, a classic haven asset, has gained around 2% so far since January 1. At press time, Bitcoin is changing hands near $7,445 up around 90% from the low of $3,867 observed on March 13, according to Coindesk's Bitcoin price index. As Bitcoin looks to be moving in tandem with the equity markets, what's behind Bitcoin's outperformance of the S&P 500 on a year-to-date basis? Rally fueled by crypto investors Bitcoin may be gaining altitude because the market is now dominated by long-term investors who believe in the narrative that the cryptocurrency is a hedge against global economic duress brought on by the coronavirus pandemic. Bitcoin's rapid drop from $8,000 to $3,867 seen on March 12 and March 13 was mainly fueled by long liquidations by institutions and macro traders. These non-crypto dedicated professionals participants squared off their long positions to raise the cash needed to fund margin calls, said Richard Rosenblum, co-head of trading at GSR. Following the liquidations, the market is primarily made up of crypto native firms and long investors. Not surprisingly, Bitcoin is acting more bullish, Rosenblum said. The coronavirus-led sell-off in the equity markets triggered a global dash for cash, which saw macro traders sell everything from gold to Bitcoin. Derivatives market data does suggest institutions took a break from the crypto markets in March. Open interest, or open contracts, in futures listed on global exchanges fell from $4 billion on March 11 to $2 billion on March 14, according to data from research firm SKU. See also, Bitcoin's crash triggers over $700 million in liquidations on BitMEX. The cryptocurrency is expected to maintain its upward trajectory and challenge the high of $8,000 seen just before the March 12 sell-off. Bitcoin is within shouting distance of its March meltdown level, and could make par by the weekend. Jehan Chu, co-founder and managing partner at Hong Kong-based blockchain investment and trading firm Kinetic told Coindesk. Chu, however, warned the cryptocurrency is still on uncertain ground and could slip back below $7,000. A pullback may be seen if key resistance near $7,480 proves a tough nut to crack. Bitcoin charted a green Marabozu candle on Monday, above left, which comprises a big body and small or no wicks. The candle indicates buyers were in control from the open to the close, reflecting strong bullish sentiment. The pattern strengthened the case for a rally to $8,000 put forward by a pennant breakout confirmed last week. So far, however, the buyers have failed to challenge the 50-day average hurdle at $7,482. Bitcoin narrowly missed passing the average resistance early on Tuesday, with prices dropping back from $7,459. If the hurdle continues to cap upside during the U.S. trading hours, an overbought reading on the 4-hour chart relative strength index would gain credence, possibly yielding a drop to the daily chart rising channel support, currently at $6,810. Whale moves 50,042 Bitcoin BTC worth $367 million in sudden crypto shuffle. A mysterious crypto whale just surfaced, moving hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin BTC in a series of transactions. According to blockchain.com, the whale initially transferred 50,042 Bitcoin worth $367,982,598 to one unknown wallet, and in the same transfer sent 100 to a separate unknown wallet. 
The fee for the giant transfer was only 37 cents. The movement was first spotted by the crypto tracker Whale Alert. After the initial transfer, the whale then continued to move the BTC to unidentified wallets in a similar fashion, until sending a final loan transfer of 49,742 to one address. The mysterious shuffle leaves no clue as to the origin of the sender. The whale could be an exchange, an institution, a crypto custody company, an over-the-counter trade, or an individual investor moving funds. In the last 24 hours, an additional 16 large transfers have been spotted on the ledger. The largest moved 5,150 BTC worth $36.5 million from Bitfinex to an unknown wallet. China will undoubtedly pursue digital yuan, Central Bank says. China's Central Bank has sent one of its strongest signals yet of a commitment to creating a digital version of the yuan. The People's Bank of China PBOC, will undoubtedly further its research and development of the national digital currency with enhanced top-down design, the bank said in an April 4 notice. The notice is a summary of the 2020 National Currency Gold Silver and Security Work video and telephone conference, convened on Friday by Yi Fei Fan, the central bank's vice governor. One of the annual meeting's goals was to lay out top priorities for the bank in this coming year. While this was at least the third time a digitized yuan, or digital currency electronic payment DCEP, was mentioned in the annual meeting, the unequivocal language used indicates a firmer stance on the project than before. At the 2018 meeting, the bank said it would pursue the project at a steady pace. Last year, it said it would accelerate the process with a closer look at trends in cryptocurrency space at home and abroad and more strict supervision over online financing in 2019. While the initiative is a few years old, it may have added impetus from coronavirus-related concerns about physical banknotes. At a February 15 press conference, the central bank said it would disinfect and store cash for 7 to 14 days before it takes it in, and put 600 billion yuan of new cash in circulation. Researchers at the Bank for International Settlements BIS, recently said the coronavirus pandemic could encourage digital payment adoption and inspire more talks about digital currencies among central banks across the world. See also, while some hoard dollar bills, others envision Jeremy Cash's quick demise along with the push for DCEP, the PBOC aims to reform the system to issue and withdraw cash and other issues to better manage cash circulation, according to the notice from the latest meeting. Other priorities on the bank's agenda include strengthening a crackdown on counterfeit money and testing programs to manage large quantities of cash. Besides departments in the PBOC, officials from major state-owned commercial banks joined this meeting, according to the notice. Former Goldman Sachs fund manager Raoul Pal has warned that the coronavirus's effects on the global economy are about to get worse. In the meantime, he's gone ahead and moved more than 25% of his portfolio into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Raoul Pal is a big fan of BTC. This is an interesting notion on Pal's part considering many analysts don't see Bitcoin as the safe haven so many people would like it to be. The currency is considered by many to have failed the safe haven test it was giving during these troubling times. Many assets, if they were stable enough to retain wealth, would have managed to keep the price momentum steady despite sell-offs and economic strife. But Bitcoin has done the opposite. In fact, it lost close to 70% of its value in a very short period, though at the time of writing, it has since settled above $6,800, meaning it's only about $3,500 down from its February 2020 high of more than $10,300. The currency has had quite a test, and while it's not unconscious, it's certainly licking a few wounds. Nevertheless, PAL sees something in Bitcoin that many of these other critical analysts don't. More than one quarter of his assets are now lodged in crypto as he moves his portfolio in different directions while working to relieve himself of the coronavirus effects. In a statement, he described what he thinks is heading our way in the coming months. I think the balance of probabilities are that this is a much longer event, in terms of economic impacts, than anybody is pricing in. I think it's a huge societal change that's coming from all of this. This is certainly an understatement. In the United States, for example, unemployment is the highest it's been in decades. More than 3 million people have filed claims, while all stores, restaurants and other non-vital businesses have closed indefinitely to ensure the virus doesn't spread any further. People have been ordered to stay at home and are unable to leave except to obtain groceries or other provisions. Pal is a longtime fan of Bitcoin and feels that the trading opportunities and properties that come with the currency are likely to offset a lot of the problems and negative effects the coronavirus is causing. 
He has since ensured that his portfolio consists of four elements, Bitcoin, gold, cash and additional trading chances. He believes crypto is an integral part of anyone's portfolio. This went about too quickly commenting on how fast the virus spread, he stated in an interview, the moment that spread hit Iran, and then Italy. That all happened over the span of three or four days. I was like, time to panic before everybody else. <laughs>